week nine of the fantasy basketball season and this year it's definitely flying by so far that we're already here in week nine and these are crucial weeks for fantasy owners because the playoffs believe it or not they're right around the corner but anyway here's a here's a few forwards you should drop this week the first guy's pj washington of the charlotte hornets washington he was a good rookie last season for the hornets and fantasy owners and on the season he's ranked 113 with 11 points a game, 6.5 rebounds, 3 assists, 1.3 blocks a game, 1.13s, 73% from the foul line, and 42% from the field. But the last two weeks, he's really struggled as Washington. 3.7 points a game, 4.3 rebounds, 3.7 assists, a block a game, 50% from the foul line, and 22% from the field. In the last two weeks, he's ranked 325 on the season. And his last few games before he's going to be out with protocol. So the last few games before he's been out with that, February 7th versus Washington, three points, five rebounds, four assists to steal. February 8th versus Houston, three points, five rebounds, three assists. And then versus at Memphis, February 10th, five points, three rebounds, four assists. So he's not getting double digits. He's not scoring the basketball well. And the last game he scored double digits was January 29th, so that was three weeks ago for Washington. Now he's out with the protocols. His minutes per game have dropped as well with other guys emerging and playing well for this Hornet team. Like Ball, he's getting more minutes. Terry Rozier, he's been on a tear. And we know Devontae Graham's going to come back as well sooner than later. So P.J. Washington in 10 and 12 team leagues, I would definitely drop him. And he's been dropped in 3% of fantasy leagues. So far here in the early week, and he's still only in 67, but the production's down, the playing time is down, and now he's down on the protocol list. So I think he's an easy drop this week. The second forward I'd look to drop this week's Royce O'Neal of the Utah Jazz. O'Neal, I know he's been pretty decent this season, and he gives owners a lot of categories, but he's not good at one thing, in my opinion, is Royce O'Neal. And O'Neal, he's... Not going to score the basketball great. He's a decent role player for this Jazz team who've been amazing so far this season. But I just don't think he's fantasy valuable. And I actually dropped him in a couple leagues as well on the season. He's ranked number 89. 7.8 points a game. 6.8 rebounds. 2.5 assists. 1.8 threes a game. 84% from the foul line. 45% from the field for O'Neal. So O'Neal... He's up and down. He's only going to get seven, eight points a game. He's a decent rebounder. His steals on the season, not all that great. And he can hit the three-point ball a little decent as well. The last few games for him, February 9th versus Boston, nine points, four rebounds, assists, three threes he made, two blocks. February 12th, 35 minutes of play. He had no points, 10 rebounds, and assists. February 13th versus Miami, eight points. Seven rebounds, four assists, three steals, three blocks, which is a pretty good line. And then versus Philly last night, 11 points, eight rebounds, three assists, three steals, three threes. So Royce O'Neal, he can hit the three ball, and he plays pretty decent, but I don't think he gives you enough categories consistency-wise to be rostered in fantasy leagues. There's better options at the forward position that I gave in my waiver wire video early in the week so go check that out if you haven't seen that forwards to head on the waiver wire week nine but royce o'neill in deeper leagues maybe you hold on to him but definitely 10 to 14 team leagues he's a guy definitely to drop here and he's only owned in 32 percent of leagues so fantasy owners they already got the hint with o'neill and they don't like the inconsistencies so he's droppable on the third and final forward that will be droppable this week's blake griffin the Detroit Pistons. Now the Pistons, they're going to sit out Griffin until they buy him out or find a trade partner for him. The same as Andre Drummond with the Cleveland Cavaliers. But obviously, you're not going to trade Drummond. You just hope he gets traded within a week or two, which is definitely possible with talks heating up there. But anyway, back to Griffin. Griffin's a guy who's been struggling most of the season. On the year 231, he's ranked 12.5 points a game. 5.2 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 threes a game, 71% from the foul line, and 36% from the field. So Blake Griffin, he just can't get anything going. His percentages are horrible this season, and he's not a non-impact player 
anymore, in my opinion. Detroit, when they traded for him a few seasons ago, it was definitely a head scratcher. But the Los Angeles Clippers, they knew what they were doing by dumping off Griffin in that deal, and they rebuilt. And it turned out for them to get Paul George and Kawhi Lennon down the line here. And Griffin, I think he'll probably get bought out. I don't think anyone's going to take on that big contract with, I believe, two seasons left on it. And the production's definitely not there. Griffin, he's shown some flashes, but the shooting percentage is bad. The rebounds are three to five a game at most. So the eliteness from Blake Griffin is definitely finished. And I think he'll sign with a contender where he's going to come off the bench for maybe 15, 20 minutes a game. And at that, he won't even have fantasy value, in my opinion. So Blake Griffin, they're going to wait and see to buy him out or trade him. And I wouldn't wait for him if I'm a fantasy owner of Griffin. So that's a few forwards I would look to cut and drop this week here in week nine of the fantasy basketball season.